In Photoshop Elements 2018, Adobe introduced a great new tool called Auto Selection. The tool is featured prominently in the guided edit called Replace Background, so let's have some fun with it. Let's use this underwhelming photo of Skippy the dog. The background is not at all interesting, so let's give him a new background. Of course, I can do this in expert mode by using the Auto Selection tool nested with the Quick Selection tool. If I click on the Quick Selection tool and open Tool Options, I can click on the Auto Selection icon. So yes, you can replace a background in the expert mode, but the Replace Background Guided Edit takes you step by step through the process if you're not familiar with masking and other more advanced techniques. Before you start though, get the Move tool, open Tool Options and make sure Show Bounding Box is checked or you won't be able to resize your image in the Replace Background Guided Edit. Click on Guided at the top of your desktop and click on Special Edits. Then click on Replace Background and follow the steps on the right. The first step is to use one of the selection tools to choose the primary subject of your photo, which in my case is Skippy. I'll click on the Auto Select icon to activate it and this causes tool options to pop up. By default, the new icon is checked, but I recommend that you always check the middle icon called Add. This allows you to make multiple selections on one image, and you'll see in a moment just how handy that is. You also have a choice of tool, and most often the rectangle option is the easiest one to use. Leave sample all layers and constrain selection unchecked, and close tool options. On your document, click and drag a rectangle around your subject to get your initial selection. This does a pretty good job of making an initial selection, but in most cases like this one, you'll need to adjust the selection. I can see that some of his ear is missing, so I'll click and drag around the ear. And that looks much better. Let's do the same with the other ear. I'll click and drag around this section right here that wasn't selected before, and that selects most of it, but I'll need to keep adding to that selection because it didn't quite get it all. So by having the little plus sign there on my cursor, it allows me to keep clicking and dragging anytime I want to select some more. What if you have an area selected that you want to remove? This blanket on the left is beige, so it got selected along with Skippy. The Auto Select tool has a Subtract function, which you can access by clicking on the Subtract icon in Tool Options or by pressing the shortcut key, Alt in Windows or Option on a Mac, to temporarily access the Subtract icon. Pressing Alt in Windows or Option on a Mac puts a minus sign next to my cursor and highlights the Subtract icon. While pressing the Alt or Option key, click and drag over the part you want to remove. There's one more little area right over here that I'll remove. And now that whole area is deselected and I can let go of the Alt key in Windows or the Option key on a Mac. When you're satisfied with the selection, go to the next step, which is to choose a new background. If you click on None, it will put transparency around your object. If you click on Color, you can choose a color. The background presets have some really cute artwork. So you could try some of these different kinds of artwork, or you could try one of the photos. Put Skippy on the beach, or in the Japanese gardens. But I can also import my own photo, so let's try that. I'll double click on the Spooky Woods background. And that looks pretty cool. Next, I'll click on the Move tool so I can move Skippy around or resize him. I'll click on him. And remember that as of this version, Show Bounding Box must be checked before entering this guided edit or you won't be able to resize your object. You'll be able to move it but not resize it. So I'm going to just click and drag from a corner handle to make him a little bit smaller. And let's move him over a bit. Right about there and click on the check mark to commit the change. 
You have an option to use the refined edge brush to soften the edges, but I'll skip that. Step five is optional to use auto match color tone to blend the subject with the background. But Skippy looks like he fits in pretty well, so I'll skip that as well and click next to exit the guided edit. At this point, you can choose which option you want. You can simply save your image, you can continue editing it, or you can share it on social media. I'll click continue editing in expert where I can see the behind the scenes layers that were created and make adjustments if I want to. Here's how Skippy looked when we started and here's how he looks now. A much more interesting background. So that's how to use the replace background guided edit. This is Linda Sadgast for Quick Learn Photoshop Elements.